Hey there, my name is Frog, and welcome to another video. Today we'll be talking about OG CSGO and their new direction. Now more specifically, we'll be talking about the changes they made to the main lineup, as well as the newly signed Academy team. To begin, let's talk about the main squad. What has changed? Well, OG has recently parted ways with Nico and Valde, benching both of them. Uh, it came out that Valde had a difference in direction that he wanted to take compared to OG, who are now more focusing on uh, developing young players. And that they have. To replace Nico and Valde, they've brought in Neofrag and Fiku, two, in my opinion, incredibly talented players. But I have my reservations about how this lineup's going to come together. Uh, mainly, I just... I struggle to see how these players will develop. Now, to elaborate on that, I want to compare this OG lineup to Mao's when Kerrigan joined, right? When Kerrigan joined, uh, he brought in Woxic and Frozen, two still somewhat inexperienced but really promising players. Now, on Mao's was Rops and Chris J. This OG lineup kind of reminds me of that and that they're really taking a gamble on developing young players again. But the key difference is that you know, instead of Chris J and Rops, you have Mantu and Flames. And instead of Kerrigan, you have Nexa. Kerrigan is somebody who's, you know, renowned for developing talents. He's renowned for really getting the most out of their players and finding the, the finding ways to best utilize them, right? Most famously, making Olaf Meister uh, a supportive player, and he excelled at it in phase. Um, I don't really think Nexa has that kind of... Um, <laughs> history behind him, right? Uh, Nexa now has been competing in Tier 1 for a long time, to his credit, and he's been an in-game leader for that, that period of time, which is great. Uh, from, from my understanding, it's, you know, initially he kind of just took the role because no one else would, and he's just kind of run with it since then, but he's done a good job, you know, you can't really discredit Nexa at that point. However, raising young players is a completely different story. Um, and I also think that even if Nexa was really good at that and it was a strength of his or it's something that he developed in this team, Kerrigan had extra, you know, a, a better baseline to begin with. And by that, I mean that Rops at that point had been on Maus for a long time. And Chris J is obviously, you know, a, a pillar that Kerrigan could lean on, a, a hugely experienced player who could kind of fill any role and fill any gaps. You don't really have that in OG right now. Uh, you know, Flames is definitely, he's been on OG for a bit now, and, and he's developed into a phenomenal player, but he's still developing. I don't think he's nearly anywhere near as, like, defined or, or developed as Rops was on Maus. The other difference, obviously, then, is, is Mantu. He's a very, very talented opper, don't get me wrong, and an even better rifler, in my opinion. <laughs> but it's hard to see how Nexa will make everything come together because there's no other really experienced player and as i mentioned flames is nowhere near as independent as rops was now you're bringing in fiku and neofrag two again amazing riflers but nowhere near as experienced as you'd kind of want them considering the lack of experience on the rest of the roster and i know that this is the direction they're going in right og clearly are wanting to develop young players and that's great but there's kind of a way that usually you want to do that right even if if you compare it to current phase where you know rops is quite experienced twist is quite experienced broke is you know coming up still kerrigan and rain have a huge amount of experience over them um and and it kind of helps to have that like you know your experienced igl and a good veteran on the side as well Again, OG doesn't have that right now. It's just Nexa. And Nexa's still, you know, he's got years ahead of him in his career. He's nowhere near as experienced as somebody as Kerrigan. It's kind of hard to say how he'll be able to develop these young players. Um, Neofrag, Fiku, you know, if you don't know them, both phenomenal players. Fiku, I've been ranting about him for the past three years or so, ever since he joined AGO. I think AGO are amazing at scouting out talents in the Polish scene, and, and Fiku is by no means an exception to that. Uh, I think he's one of the best riflers in Poland behind, you know, I can't even think of somebody else. He's a fairly independent player. You know, he's happy to just kind of do his own thing. And I don't think you'll need to attribute too many resources to him for, for him to be effective. But, you know, he is, he was the star of the show for a very long time, uh, mostly alongside MHL. Although, you know, more recently with all AGO's roster changes, 
he's just kind of been like the sole dependable frag girl on that team. Uh, then you have Neofrag, who's you know come up really since joining Sinners in I believe 2020, and he's done really really well. You know he's kind of carried not only his own team but even just the Czechoslovak scene to to, to relevance uh, since the start of the online era, uh, and has been one of the main fraggers alongside Oscar on that team. Now, it's it's hard to say how you're going to take two players that were the stars of their own lineups uh, are still very young, I mean 19 and 21 respectively if I'm not mistaken, and are, are developing and then put them alongside Flames who is still quite young and developing and Mantu who's a bit m older but still developing as a player and as an opera and who also has games where he just completely goes missing. <sighs> I'm not sure how Nex is going to do it. However, I do believe that when they figure that out, my god, this I, I would not want to be uh, on the opposing side of the surfer because these are all incredible players. Mantu, when he's feeling himself, is very scary. Flames is a phenomenal talent. Um, Fiku has, has done <laughs> so well, even at a tier 1 level when competing with AGO, whenever he's gone uh, to, to big events. And uh, Neofrag is a, another insanely talented fragger. But how is that all going to come together is really my, my main like my main concern um because again i think nex is very good he's experienced by this point but nowhere near as experienced as somebody like kerrigan or something like that and the other team that this kind of reminds me of is ents uh in that ents has you know four really good players and snappy and it's not to say that snappy is not a good player but i mean like a veteran igl who again has a, a good history of scouting out and developing players i just i don't see that in in og right now right and i think the key difference maybe between ents and og is just the fact that ents is a bit older right um flames is what 18 still as i said i think that fiku and neofrag are 19 and 21 uh man who's maybe a bit older at maybe what like 22 23 something like that <sighs> you just sure it's not like they're all 15 to, to 17 years old don't get me wrong but they're not quite as old or as experienced as say like madden or diha uh and even somebody like sphinx who isn't very experienced um is a little bit older and um, it's not to say that these new players on og aren't mature or anything like that but there is certainly an element of concern when you're trying to develop these young players when you don't have a veteran it's a lot of pressure for nexa and again he's not snappy he's not kerrigan he doesn't have that kind of track record and it's not that he needs to but when you're trying to develop young players uh... Um, now, two people I failed to mention so far, obviously, Rugga and, and Kakafu, uh, two very experienced uh, people within the Counter-Strike scene. I'm hoping that they'll be able to give him tools uh, to, to develop these players, but I'm just not convinced quite yet. Now, as of recording, uh, OG is meant to play with their new roster in a show match versus MIBR. Uh, should be very exciting considering MIBR's lineup. Uh, they recently made a change, parting ways with Woody, uh, their their captain. And I believe Cello is meant to be taking over the IGL role while uh, the newly promoted Barnzen um, takes over the op. It should be a very exciting match because OG's, you know, been trying to find their footing and MIBR is climbing up in the rankings slowly but surely. It'll be really cool to see just how well the, the new players mesh into this new system but again i i have reservations i'm really excited and i i'm really want to support this og lineup because it's full of players that i really like but at the same time i just struggle to see how it's really going to come together or at least you know it's going to take a really really long time something that i'm sure og is mindful of but you know organizations have often kind of not given teams the time they need in the past so it, it, it needs to be seen whether og will actually give this team time to grow now the other team that i want to talk about is og academy now if you don't know og academy just recently uh formed ahead of we play academy league season four <laughs> and they are currently two to one as of recording uh it's coached by crisby who's formerly of unicorns of love and more recently strife uh so he's, if you don't know him, a veteran in, in the German scene, and he's done a lot uh, as an in-game leader. 
And he recently took up coaching with Strife over in North America. They won Fracadelphia 14, I want to say. Uh, so, you know, they've done quite well, and Strife looked like a really cohesive unit under his leadership. Uh, so I'm excited to see what he can do with OG uh, Academy. And for what it's worth, I think the players that OG have signed are really, really good. So the captain of the new team is Dementor. Uh, he's, I believe, 21 years old, most notably played for Nazar and X, which is a Kosovar team. And yes, he is from Kosovo. Um, individually, I think he's a very good player. Uh, I don't think he stands out, especially on this roster. Uh, I mean, I think he's good, but again, I don't think he's, he'll be the star of the show. As a captain, I think this is still kind of a new role for him, but from what I've heard, I, I could definitely see him taking taking on the role and doing quite well with it. Uh, this probably the, the star of the show is, is Marix, formerly of Sprout. You know, he's, he's the big headliner for this, for this team. Uh, Marix obviously has always stood out as, as the only player essentially from Luxembourg, although I do believe he's also Ukrainian. And I'm quite excited to see how he does in this team. It's a bit strange to see him take a step back from Sprout, you know, being on a main team that's actually, you know, within the top 30 and all that, to going to an academy team. But at the same time, I don't think... Marx was living up to his potential in Sprout, and I imagine that must have been somewhat frustrating. So it'll be kind of cool to see what he can do under this this new this new team. Um, two other players that have been doing quite well as well are uh, Sound, uh, a, a Romanian player, as well as Oxygen, who you may also have heard of, uh, a Bulgarian player. Oxygen most recently played for Skade, I want to say. He's never stood out all too much in the Bulgarian scene in the sense that he's not super flashy. You know, I think he was just a player that really did his job. He rifled, he did his own thing, and it worked, you know. He was never bad by any metrics, but I don't think he was amazing either. So it's kind of cool to see players like that already being brought into the system because they're often people that fly under the radar, right? You need kind of pillars within a roster. And I think Sound is another good example of that. You know, he played for, for Nexus, I want to say, and then he played for All-Stars uh, and has been kind of out of the action for a little bit. But it's really cool to see him return because I think that he's another really just solid rifler that, that OG can depend on. Um, and now rounding out the team, uh, the opera was reported to be Jamie G, uh, formerly of Echo. But uh, that seems to have not happened for, for one reason or another. And the opping role is actually filled by another Bulgarian player in Shaikh. Now, Shaikh, again, has kind of just flown under the radar for a lot of his career. He mostly played on uh, Fate, uh, most recently even. And I think that he's a very, very underrated player. From what I've seen so far, I've got to say I'm impressed. Uh, you know, again, they're 2-1 to one currently in Academy League. They had a convincing victory over Eternal Fire Academy uh, and Young Gods as well. And they had a really close OT game versus uh, the new look Fnatic Rising. I think that this team really has a lot of potential uh, in terms of just as, as, a, as a unit. Uh, I could easily see them making playoffs at the end of the season. And I could probably even see them placing second or maybe even first and, and uh, overthrowing mouse sports in, in the seasons to come. Um, as a direction, I'm not quite sure what OG is aiming for because obviously bringing in Neofrag and Fiku uh, means that you're investing in that five-man lineup for a long period of time, right? You want to give them the time to, to reach their full potential and making any premature changes, well, it's just that. It's premature. But when what, what what do they plan to do with the academy players i'm not quite sure yet you know maybe there's a world in which uh you know it's it's not working out with this player okay you go down to the academy and we promote somebody else much like big did with uh crimbo and keto or um i suppose there's also the the possibility of just having a lineup that will much like mouse nxt just be competing in tier three tier two events and just try to develop that unit as a whole um Again, I think that this OG Academy lineup is really, really good. There's a lot of talents on there, a lot of underrated players, a cool mix of nationalities. You know, you got a player from Kosovo, a player from Luxembourg, uh, two Bulgarians, a Romanian. You know, you got that Balkan, Balkan core down there, uh, along with Crispy, who's a really, uh, really talented and, and experienced uh, player and coach, I suppose. So we'll we'll see how that meshes and, and how that comes together. I think that lineup has a lot of potential to, to grow. 
But again, I have reservations about the main OG lineup, uh, I, and I want to root and cheer for them because I think that every player on that team is awesome. You know, I think there's so much potential, but how it's going to come together is still the big question mark for me. I don't know that Nexa is necessarily the right candidate to lead a bunch of young players. Um, in terms of how he wants to structure this team, I guess will remain to be seen you know are they going to play very very structured cs where everything is pre-planned ahead of time or are they going to kind of puck it out initially and just get a feel feel for everything i don't know i guess we'll see um i think that neofrag and fiku are both phenomenal pickups and definitely should have been on og's radar um it's unfortunate that they weren't able to keep an experienced pillar like valde uh, or even nico for what it's worth um to to kind of make everything flow a little bit better but hopefully this is where kind of mantu steps up a little bit uh both individually on the op because again you can't afford to have um a weak op in today's meta um but also as sort of just that like big bro big brother figure right you want somebody who's kind of uh dependable for for the rookies while they're still trying to figure everything out um and hopefully we get to see more out of Flames as well. I mean, the kid's insanely talented, but it is just about polishing that diamond. Which, again, same could be said for Fiku or Neofrag. Um, that's kind of everything I've got on, on, on this new OG lineup. Thank you for watching. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe. Maybe, you know, leave a little comment. Uh, and, uh, oh yeah, shout out to uh, my boy Swaggy for the Royals jersey. This thing is awesome. I love that. Um, so, yeah, thank you again and have a nice day.